There have been many occasions here upon our channel where we have explored artifacts and evidential ruins indicative of a tremendous prehistoric age. Testimonies, photography, even physical proofs, locations of some finds making their ages undeniably enormous. This, along with the sheer amount of said evidence collected and exposed over the years, making their authenticity and indeed the evidence to suggest the existence of a now lost yet once incredibly ancient civilization overwhelming. With our next expose of ancient finds of no exception, although the following could have been aiding in the expansion of mankind's knowledge of its origins, it has instead been quietly ignored by those in favor of doubling down on a funded paradigm, one seemingly crumbling around them. Greece, a thorn in the side of many an academic for centuries, with unexplainable architecture and finds that simply lack explanation. There exists, however, a far deeper reason for this persisting annoyance – the competing recordings of finds made far before any funded paradigm had arisen, by people in positions of specialist authorities, documentation of remains of human inhabitation supporting our many videos' subject matters. These finds dated within the Pliocene era of at least some 2 to 5 million years ago. As mentioned in The Forbidden Archaeologist by Michael Cremo, quote, Today, scientists say that the oldest evidence for human presence in Greece can be found at the Petrolona site, where human bones and artifacts, attributed to our archaic Homo sapiens, go back to between 200,000 and 500,000 years ago. But taking the role of the Egyptian priest, I might say to these modern Solons that the history of a human presence in Greece goes much further back than they might imagine. The Greek scientist who reported the Petrolona discovery, A. N. Polianos, announced further discoveries far more ancient than Petrolona Man. The Anthropology Museum of Petacus gave the following information. In 1977, Isaac Pandelidis, the owner of a sand pit not far from the village of Perdiccas, chanced upon the remains of a large animal. He informed the Greek Anthropological Society, and the excavations were directed by the anthropologist Eris Polianos, who brought to light the skeleton of a mammoth, approximately 3 million years old. Though the entire skeleton was found, the bones were in disarray and had evidently been killed, butchered, and consumed by humans. End quote. This timeline flies in the face of modern evolutionary chronology and, if accepted as it should, coming from legitimate sources who documented said finds correctly, the timeline of man should rightly be pushed back to an unknown origin, and we strongly feel more effort should be put into this investigative direction. The mammoth, along with Cremo's effortless correlation of the facts, is a gem of proof and a continued glimmer of hope that if such finds continue to surface, modern paradigms will slowly shift to a more critically established realization of not only our history, but of our existence itself. It was a find, and indeed is a journey, which we find highly compelling. <laughs>